I'm coming! Jenny! Jenny, come down here! Oh, and you brought some lovely flowers. Thank you. I'll just go and get Jenny now. She's upstairs. Please sit down. Make yourself quiet at home, James. Be comfortable. And uh, pay no attention to this. It's, uh, just let Jenny know that you're here. She's uh, upstairs uh, reading her books, you know. Jenny! James is here, Jenny. to marry him. Jenny. Oh, Jenny. No. Jenny, look. You're lucky that someone's interested in you at your age, and you're lucky that it's a man like James Miller, a nice man, a good man. But, Mother, I don't love him. I'd rather kill myself than marry him. That's nonsense. It's all these diabolic French novels that you read. I should have burned them years ago. It's rubbish. James Miller is a man. You're a woman. That's all it needs for a world of possibilities. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about, Jenny. When a man gets married, it halves his territory, but a woman doubles hers. Jenny, you have to be clever. I'd rather be a fool. I can't help the way I feel. When I look at James Miller, I feel nothing. I don't feel anything. When I look at him, I don't see anybody. I don't see the man I'm going to marry. But that's romance, my darling. This is life. What will become of you if you say no to James Miller? Do you want to dry up, turn yellow, like that old hag, Miss Russell? I'm very flattered, James Miller. <clears throat> well, thank you, Jenny. It's a very important decision to make. Yes, thank you, Jenny. I'm very happy. I haven't decided yet. Um, I have to think about it. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, well, thank you much. I haven't said yes, James. I haven't said no, but I haven't said yes. <laughs> but she hasn't said no. I have to think about it. You make me very happy, Jenny. James is very grateful that you're going to think about it, aren't you, James? You see, he's a real gentleman. <laughs> Oh, James. Let me think about it. <clears throat> yes, of course. Shall I come tomorrow? Sunday. Come back Sunday. 
If I decide before, I'll, I'll send word, I promise. But, but Sunday, that's... After Saturday. Indeed it is. Well, I guess I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Yes, I'll be thinking about it. Good day, Jenny. Mrs. Hill. Oh, it was such a great pleasure to see you, James, and your poor mother. God rest her, she'd be so proud of you. Is that you? Where are you going, child? Uh, I, ha I have to. Have to what? Jenny, no, not him. Who? Who? Don't pretend with me. I know he's in town. Jenny, you've been proposed in marriage. He'll jeopardize everything. I don't care. Oh, don't be simple, my darling. Would you throw away James Miller for a man like that? The man has no soul. What do you know about soul? About love? Has he touched you? Has he ever touched you? Jenny! Rest easy, Miss Hill. I'm not contagious. <sighs> May I ask what a lady like you is doing standing on the street corner at this hour? The hour of the sin, as we call it. I'm just waiting for someone. Hmm, a sinner? <laughs> Miller Brown, if you must know. Oh, a saintly sinner. Well, he's inside. Why don't you come on in? No. Well, look at you. You're screaming. <gasps> yes, my dear, you are screaming. My face is on fire and I haven't blushed in 15 years. Well, well, well. You want me to go call him for you? No. Um. I'd be very grateful if you could give this to him. Thank you. Hmm. Whatever you want. Oh, and, uh, a word of advice from someone who knows. Get on with it, cuz, honey. You're gonna explode. <sighs> it's 
Step aside, Dutch. I'm back. <laughs> Figured, glorified aright, with conscience of the new rays that proceed out of my face toward thine. There's nothing low in love, and what I feel across the inferior features of what I am doth flash itself and show how that great work of love enhances natures.
James Miller has made him marry him this morning. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. my mother we were going to the grave of my father my mother never acknowledged the existence of Miller Brown but as we were getting close to the spot where he was buried I understood she was looking at my father in his eyes and she remembered she saw herself young and in love I never saw him again till today. I wonder why.
<laughs> well, maybe if you let the police outside. It's... it's the thought that counts. better than that. Yeah, I do know you better than that. So long, Miller. <sighs> Don't take any wooden nickels. Are you happy, Jenny? Oh, 
Jimmy, I'm sorry. Jimmy, I'm sorry. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Jimmy, Jimmy, please. Miss Nutter, don't cry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what I've done. Please, 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 please talk to me. There's nothing low in love, and what I feel, across the inferior features of what I am, doth flash itself and show how that great work of love enhances natures. Mrs. Hill! Yes, it's me! That's for me! <laughs> it's from Jenny. She hasn't shown her face in two weeks, obviously. The honeymoon. Continues. <laughs> How nice. She's so happy. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Russell. Uh, Hill. My dear mother, hell will have no surprises for me. I've never felt so cold. I've never felt so lonely, so old, so ugly, so redundant. He won't touch me, mother. He's afraid of me. Help me.
feels good. <laughs> Making them happy? Are you disappointed, Jenny? No, James. Everything's turning out to be just as I thought it would. Jenny. Just help me, Jenny. Tell me, talk to me. What can I do? I'll give anything to see you smile. I love you so much. I just want to hold you in my arms and make you mine. I can't bear the sadness in your eyes. Morning. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, well. Hmm. Yes, that's just what I thought.
Jenny, tonight you'll stay in and I'll stay outside. <laughs> and no matter what you hear, you won't open the door. Not even if it's me begging you to come back in. You won't open the door, you understand? No, why would... Don't ask. Just for tonight. James, I don't want to stay here alone. I thought you preferred it. I'm glad you don't. You have to put the plank across the door.
made your vow in front of God Almighty. For better or for worse, you said. In sickness or in health, you said. That man is your husband. You cannot abandon him. Shame on you for inventing such a fantastical story. You don't believe me? Of course I don't believe you. You think I'm lying? Of course you're lying, you foolish girl. You're obsessed. That's what it is. It's that Miller Brown. That's what it is. As you're running around the streets like a scarlet woman. James Miller's been a James friend. Miller has to be put away. Why? He's an animal. He's not a guy. I have a wife and children. I've got a wife and children too. Oh, Mrs. Miller. Oh, no, I've got to find Jenny. I don't know where he is. I swear, I've got to find my daughter. Please calm down. There's no need for this hysteria. <laughs> I mean, he's never really looked normal. You know, he's always had something very peculiar Hold about your him. venomous tongue, Ginny Russell. My daughter is not well. And I'll thank you to remember that that's my son-in-law you're talking about. So we'll reserve our judgment if you don't mind. She's with that Sally person right now. Sally, Sally, not Sally Ellis. From Atlanta? That woman is riddled with disease. <laughs> You all know me. You know me all my life. Well, I, I know I'm not too neighborly, but I wouldn't do no harm to nobody. Look, some, some folks got palsies and some sleep sickness and some epilepsy. Kept my afflictions hidden all my life. I suffer from moon sickness. I always have. When I was a baby, when Paul got sick, and my Ma had to work the farm day and night to keep it, remember? She seemed to face adversity with pleasure. There's no room for pain. She dressed herself with smiles.
she seemed almost grateful. And Noah's was just a tiny baby. She dedicated it to me, to me, to me. And I felt it. She used to pick me up and she put me in this big basket. And then she'd carry me around. And put me on the ground. And I'd look up and I'd smile at her. What she's saying to me. One night, the moon came out and bewitched me. Happy, please. Please look at me. Come home to me. I'll be your husband. Get his permission. His permission. Someone will stay with you once a month. Someone to take care of you, to be with you. Someone. Who? Oh. Belong, Miller. Oh. 
Well, I knew I could count on you, James. But oh, thank you, Miss Hill. And of course, you'd be very welcome here. Ah, uh, no, no, I, no, I couldn't stay here, James. Even if it's only once a month, I'm much more squeamish than my daughter. No, it, it would have to be someone of Jenny's own choice. Unless, of course, you don't approve. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course, whatever Jenny wants, whatever she wants. Uh, well, just so, then. Uh, leave it to me. You know, you have your mother's eyes. You're a handsome man, James Miller. I don't know why you hide behind that beard. being fair? Is the happiness of one worth the suffering of another? No, the answer must be no. No, I say in this letter to myself. Bad enough sitting at a poker table with you. <laughs> Never thought he'd stoop so low to be thrown in the same dump with someone like you, bastard. <laughs> what? I didn't hear you. Get up, Miller Brown. I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> request get out of here half half brother still brother half stranger still stranger 
What happened? Let's find out. It's getting close. I don't feel nothing to you. I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for you to protect an innocent life. What kind of stories your mom would tell you every night before she'd tuck you in? You know what I heard? The sound of some strange men spilling their seed. That was my mama rocking me to sleep. See, I got my memories of Papa, too. You don't want to beg you. I'll beg you. I'd do anything for her. You do this for me. I'll see you get what's yours. Mister. You don't know what's mine. Let me help you.
and I'll sing a rooster and one spotted hog.
I never really knew him. But he couldn't possibly have known how much you needed him. Glad you're here, Miller. It's not coming out tonight.
I'm here. 